Chapter 2, Port Royal Elizabeth opened her eyes. She was in bed in the governor's house in Port Royal. She looked at the gold medallion and smiled. Every day she thought about the medallion, and every day she thought about Will Turner. Was it really eight years? She heard her father. Are you in bed? Get up now. Governor Swan came into the room. It's a beautiful day, he said. And look, I have something for you. He gave Elizabeth a box. Inside, there was a beautiful new dress from London. You can wear it today, he said, for Captain Norrington's party. Oh, him, said Elizabeth. He's a good man, and he likes you, you know. He likes you very much, and after today, he will be a Commodore. The governor left the bedroom and went back to his office. Will Turner was there. He was now 20 years old and a big, strong young man. Mr. Turner, said the governor. Good day. Good day, said Will. Do you have it? Yes, sir. Here it is. He gave the governor a long box. The governor opened it carefully. He took out a sword and smiled. Ah, very good. A fine job. He wanted to give the sword to the new Commodore Norrington. Thank you, sir, Will said. Will looked up and saw Elizabeth. She looked beautiful in her new dress. Ah, Elizabeth, the governor said. A wonderful dress. But Elizabeth's eyes were on Will. Hello, Will, she said. I thought of you last night. Do you remember that first day on the ship? Of course I remember, Miss Swan, said Will. I can never forget that day. He smiled at her. The governor wasn't happy with this conversation. We have to go, he said to Elizabeth. It's time. He took Elizabeth's arm. Elizabeth smiled at Will. Goodbye, Mr. Turner, she said. The governor and his daughter left the house and went out into the busy street. Next chapter is coming soon. Please do subscribe my channel, learn English by storytelling.